Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whatever time of day you are watching. Thank you for joining me. If you're new, I'm Vlad, and welcome to the channel. If you're returning, welcome back to another video. And as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title of this video, we got full interior LEDs to install. This should be good. So, to do this interior LED upgrade, you're going to need three things. First thing, a plastic card of some sort. Like your ID, your fake ID, your fake fake ID, your Blockbuster membership card, your Hollywood Video membership card, if you guys still have those. Basically, any kind of plastic card will do. This is going to help quite a bit. Next are needle nose pliers. You'll need them for your map lights, your glove box, and the footwells down there. Just because the lights are recessed a little bit, so you need to be able to reach in and grab them and pull them out. You know, like a tooth. Because you just, you, you, yeah, you guys know. And lastly, you need LEDs to do all this. Originally, I was going to piece it all together like I did for the exterior LEDs. But this time, I decided to reach out to a company and see if they would, you know, collaborate with me for this video. Well, I reached out and got a response back and they said yes. Surprised, right? And that company just happens to be Diadynamics. Surprising, right? Yeah, me too. Big shout out to Craig over there. He really helped me with this one. Um, I still paid for him, by the way, just so you guys know, so I am unbiased on this. Let's get started with the vanity. These are easy to do. I apologize for the blurriness, but it will not get better. Use the corner of the card between the inside of the lens cover and the mirror and pop it off. Same with the other side. Then use the needle nose pliers to pull out the bulbs. Do not grab them by the glass. The color and model I chose are the warm white SMF ones. If you want to go brighter, then go with the SMF twos. Additionally, there's different color options for both as well if you're into that. Now, if your vanity LEDs are not working, before you panic, try flipping them 180 degrees. They are polarity specific to work properly. Once you have that figured out, Go ahead and put your lens covers back on. I'm not going to bother showing the passenger side since it's the exact same process. I'll have a list of everything I used and my recommendations down in the description. Now on to the map lights. Put the corner of the car right where the plus sign is. There is a tab on the lens cover that needs to be released. When you find it and release the cover, just pull it down a little bit. There's no need to completely remove it. With your needle nose pliers, grab the bulb and pull it out. This is the only bulb you can change. That other one is already an LED. For the map lights, I'm using the HP3 in natural white. These would be the brightest I would go with, but you can always go brighter with like the HP5s, or my recommendation would be the SMD2s in warm white for that OEM Plus look. Now, why did I go with Diode Dynamics? Well, for one, the quality of their products is on par with brands like Rigid, KC, and Baja Designs. Second, their hassle-free, worry-free warranty on all their products. All the LEDs I'm using have a three-year, no-fear warranty. Down by your feet, you have the footwell lights. These are pretty self-explanatory. I'm putting in the same HP3s that I used for the map lights. But look into the other colors that they have, like blue, red, green, amber or just a different shade of white if you don't like anything else. You know how I said this was going to be easy? Yeah, nothing's easy on these Jeeps. Especially this light. If you guys remember the headlights and how much those sucked. Well, this one in particular, which is the glove box light, is a whole nother level of suck. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the majority of the box is out and I'm going to show you how to do this because I had to destroy my hands to do this. Alright, so you'll want to remove the glove box, unhook the tether, squeeze the sides, and it's out. Then, just pull out the glove box shelf. Now, this bulb will be hot. Depress the switch to shut it off. Grab some electrical or scotch tape and wrap it onto the bulb. Make sure the tape is on the bulb when you go to push it out so you don't drop it into the abyss. With the old bulb out, the easiest way I found to put in the LED is to put tape on it exactly like I'm showing here. Then use the tail end of the tape to get the LED into the socket. 
take your time with this. It will go into the socket, trust me. The first time I did this, I lost both bulbs into the back of the dash. I did manage to find them after taking almost everything out from under it. Eventually, after a lot of attempts and a lot of tape, I got this to work as it should. Finally, the last two bulbs just happen to be in the lift gate. If you watched my exterior LED video, then you know how this comes apart. If you did not watch that video, then just pull on the panel starting from the glass and work your way around. Grab this gray plug, turn it to the left, and take it out. The bulb will be hot, so be careful when removing it. For the lift gate, I chose to go with the HP 5s this time, because the additional light you get from these really help when you're loading that entire Costco trip into your trunk for your overnight stay at the RV park. If you happen to break any of the clips on the plastic panel during the process, I'll have part numbers and links down in the description. So, I had an idea. If you're a subscriber and you want your Jeep to be featured in one of my next videos, send me the best photo you have to the email in the description below. Alright, so all the LEDs are done. All 11 of them put in, especially that awful glove box one. Yeah, that one's awful. That I, I wish to never replace that over and over again. Granted, that method that I showed you guys works. It still sucks. Yeah. Well, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, honestly, DM me on Instagram at uh, this guy Vlad. I'll be happy to help if I can answer any any and all questions, or if you just want to say hi, let me know. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Later.